there guys I'm now connect reconnected to my trailer truck is regening we are getting my uh, landing gear pulled up I've already supplied air so my airbags are full which makes pulling this thing up a lot easier when you got weight on it but we are rocking and we are ready to roll this is the beginning of this week's video and I'm, uh, I'm going to Lubbock, Texas, and then Odessa, Texas, but I'm going to park in Lubbock. I can't deliver until tomorrow morning anyway. That's when Ditch Witch of, or Southwest Ditch Witch of Texas opens. And then, and that's the, that's the Lubbock location. And then the Odessa one opens at the same time, but obviously it's two hours away. So once I'm uh, offloaded there, I'll go to Odessa for the second stop of this, and then we will get completely done. I hate these. Um, and then we'll get completely offloaded. And uh, from there, we're probably going to go to Sweetwater, Texas and pick up sheetrock from the George Pacific plant there. If we don't, I'll be very surprised. But pre trip is done. Everything's good to go. Airbags are all inflated now. All my tires, copacetic, nice and Nice and inflated, all of them. Straps are still good, and my truck's now done regening. So no more rattle, rattle, rattle while I'm rolling down the road. All right, well, love, peace, jet, and grease. Hope y'all enjoy the uh, the view while I'm driving there. Hopefully it's not too boring. Good morning, good morning. We are getting offloaded here at Ditch Witch in Lubbock, Texas. They're struggling to get this last piece off because this quarter dock is way too slick due to the rain. Uh, and they were like, you should see it on ice, it's terrible. But once we're offloaded with the parts for here, we're gonna go ahead and reload the parts for Odessa, go drop off the three, four parts that it is and uh, haul ass. So. Love, peace, and gently grease. We'll see y'all soon. And this is why I decided I was going to stop for the night, guys. You cannot see anything through this dang window. It's so bad. My truck, my, my uh, camera can't even focus. This is bad, man bunch of rain bunch of sand sand is bad look at that bro like i'm gonna roll down the window a little bit Ooh, oh no that's all sand that's all sand right now oh that's bad oh that's bad baby ah yeah, your boy decided he was gonna stop for the night because uh I'm, I'm reloaded with, with my load. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's a bunch of salt. Oh, that might be a bunch of salt in the air. Because they just got a bunch of salt just sitting out there. Man, it's crazy. Uh, anyway, but I, uh, I'm reloaded over here in Loving, New Mexico. And I'm, I'm here for my 10-hour break. Might turn into a little bit longer if this sandstorm don't let up. But, uh, yeah. Either way, love, peace, and chitlin' grease. We'll see y'all soon. Hey there, guys. So, I'm offloaded from that salt from New Mexico now. Um, however, I'm about to go up to Medicine Lodge, and then we're heading to South Salt Lake, Utah. Not too bad, not too bad. So, we're going to head over there to Medicine Lodge in Kansas. We're gonna get loaded, and then we're gonna hit the road. And uh, you'll get to see some pretty scenery, hopefully. It'll be my first time going to Utah, so we'll see what happens. Anyway, love, peace, chit, and grease. See y'all soon.
morning, guys. It is 3.20 in the morning um, over here in Kansas Medicine Lodge, uh, Medicine Lodge, Kansas, and we are about to head out to Salt Lake, Utah. I'm going to drive pretty much my whole clock out today, uh, probably 10 to 11 hours, and then we'll park and then we'll get the last of it done tomorrow. Um, it's a 16 hour, 16 and a half hour, I believe. Oh, no, 16 hour and nine minute drive. 1,004 miles. So, not too bad, not too bad. Uh, got a couple of loves listed on my route. Um, and then I'll probably try to get across the mountains to another loves. Um, during, uh, by the end of the day. If not, I'll just park in the mountains. Wake up nice and cold, essentially, which is no big deal, but we're gonna hit the road and uh, we'll see what we have to see. I'm, I'm trying to time it so that way I got daylight by the time I hit the mountains so I can give you some clips of that. But uh, love, peace, and chitlin grease, and we'll see you soon. Colorado hauling ass. We're trying to move. Uh, we're trying to get all the way to Laramie, Wyoming. It's only three hours away. I've got three hours and 56 minutes on my drive time available. So I should be parking with somewhere around 40 minutes to an hour left on my clock for the day. Um, but we're trying to get there as quick as we can. So that way we can shut down, get a decent, probably 12 hour break, and then uh, get over to Salt Lake City, South Salt Lake to, uh, to offload at seven in the morning. But this might, uh, this, this is my last couple of loads or, uh, with this company before I uh, move over to Kime, Kime TS. Very excited for the move. I might swap over to a 13 speed instead of being in a 13 speed standard instead of being in an automatic. We'll see. Uh, it's, it all depends on what they got available. Who knows? Maybe I'll be able to get a purple T880 uh, with a 13 speed stick. We'll see. But uh, right now, we're just uh, hauling down the open road trying to make money and uh we'll uh see you when we get there Told y'all we'd make it in time. I've got 30 minutes left on my drive clock for the day. Not too shabby. We are now parked in Laramie, Wyoming. Post trip is done. Um, and we made it a pretty decent ways. I'm gonna have a six hour and four minute drive tomorrow. And then that's it. Uh, I'll be offloaded and then hopefully getting reloaded and on my way back to the to the east, uh, it's my hope at least. If I can get back east in a decent amount of time, that'd be good. Cause I got to be home next Friday for uh, my daughter's birthday, 
and uh, let me see, that's why I got it tattooed on here. Terrible memory when it comes to stuff like that, even though it's super big stuff. Second birthday, two years in this world, crazy. But uh, that's why I do this. That's why I drive this. Because if 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 I didn't, I, I wouldn't make enough to, to support her. And I decided, when I decided college wasn't for me and I decided to do this, once I turned 21, I, that's, it's to support my family. And you know, there's ups and downs in trucking. Not this, Paul Transportation is who I currently work for. They're great. I love this company. They're all about their drivers and making sure their drivers are okay. The issue is, is it's purely a financial standpoint as to why I'm going to be swapping companies. I, 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 they offered me 60 cents a mile. 60 cents a mile isn't bad at, at this new company. They're offering me 55 here now that I've put in my two weeks notice. So, you know, it is what it is. They're a great company. They just, they're growing a little too fast for the organization they have in place. They haven't grown their freight for the amount of drivers they have. So it's it's uh, kind of just gone slowly downhill. It's point where it's now a problem for me. And I, I'm now going to be swapping companies. Uh, my final day here will be the 29th. And then on the 9th of October, I'll be starting with Kime. So that week, I may post a video, I may not, I don't know. But I'll have one week of home time in between, so I might post like a home vlog, um, just doing stuff around the house, a bunch of time lapsing, a uh, bunch of cleaning, essentially, is all it's going to be, just a bunch of cleaning. But uh, yeah, hopefully, you enjoy this video. If you do, Please like and subscribe, leave a comment, anything. Just let me know on the comments. Let me know what you'd like to see more of or less of. Uh, let me, you know, just chat. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll respond. Um, I ain't got nothing better to do. I'm just driving. <laughs> and I can use voice to, ch to text. It, I can have Siri read everything off to me. It's easy. Um, but yeah, just... I got to do what I got to do for my family, and that's that's the nuts and bolts of it, really. But love, peace, and chitlin grease. We'll see y'all in the morning. It's currently 43 degrees up here in Laramie, Wyoming. It's pretty nice. I can see my breath in the air, but that's I normally run hotter anyway. But it's kind of crazy. It's also really foggy, but early getting fuel and then we'll hit the I'll get some coffee and we'll hit the road see you soon y'all we are getting offloaded now uh we got one more set of sheetrock to go and then we'll be able to head 45 minutes up the road to get reloaded we're going to ogden utah we're going to pick up lumber and we're going to haul that over to fremont nebraska we're going to go there get loaded strap it all down it doesn't say it needs to be tarped so cool makes it easier and then i'll uh, go to the nearest loves get my cat scale ticket 
and park for my 34 hour reset because as of right now I only have 19 hours and 21 minutes left on my clock uh, I have four hours and 28 minutes left on my total time for the day so hopefully we'll be able to get get out of here and and uh, I'll do my 34 and I'll get on the road and I'll get home next Friday so I can celebrate my daughter's birthday with her but uh Yep. Love, peace, and chitlin' grease. We'll see y'all soon. What's going on, guys? We are now here at a Love's in Brigham, Brigham, Birmingham, Brigham. It's Brigham City, Utah. Um, I have gotten my load of wood they're all two by sixes and they're 12 feet long so you know pretty easy strap down process you know two in the first five feet but I put four on the front four on the back three in the middle it's definitely secure it ain't going nowhere <laughs> uh, and this is gonna be the end of this video I hope you enjoyed it if you did please like comment subscribe let me know what you would like to see more of less of whichever uh, I'm still working on getting the whole system figured out for trying to get when I'm getting loaded and stuff recorded because you know I need stuff for that and I haven't gotten it yet but we are loaded we are parked this is where I'm going to be doing my 34 hour reset. Um, I'll be heading out probably Sunday, Sunday, something like that to, uh, to hit the road over to Nebraska. It's a 15 hour drive. So leave out Sunday morning, get there Monday morning, uh, on time probably early if I can manage it so yeah um we're here in the great state of Utah hate the traffic here kind of sucks but hey uh, I mean honestly I'd rather drive in LA than I would here um and I've done that twice now three well technically four times if you count the fact I drove through downtown LA twice because I had to go to Long Beach so Eh? But uh, honestly, Salt Salt Lake City made Dallas look good in terms of traffic when it comes to trucking. Like, I'd rather drive a auto a manual in Dallas than I would in Salt Lake City, Utah. But it is what it is. Um. Anyway, love, peace, chicken grease. We'll see y'all next week.